What's up everybody? This is Jonathan. I'm here doing a video about um, the Illuminati as you can see here. In this video, I must tell you basically some basics about what the Illuminati is and also I'm going to focus in, key in on the symbology, some of the symbols they use so you can see uh, or start to realize some of this stuff in uh, everyday life. So let's get started. So, Luciferianism. What is it? Well, it says here in Isaiah 14, 12 to 14, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which does weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will set also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the clouds. I will be like the most high. So basically that's Lucifer wanting to be like God. So this is what it's all about. That's why the Illuminati is a demonic Luciferian organization. So the devil himself is manifesting himself in some people and putting something in their heart to do what he's done. Try to come over God and come over God's people. Okay, so that's basically what it is. They're going to bring about the end time prophecy and revelation, the mark of the beast, the antichrist, that sort of thing. They're setting the stage up for it in the earth. Okay, so it's a, a like I said, I'll get into it more, but that's the basics. Okay, here's revelations and here is talking about the beast in verse number three. Uh, I want to move to six and he opened his mouth and blasphemy against God to blaspheme in his name in his tabernacle in them that dwell in heaven and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose name are not written in the book of of the lamb I think it's supposed to be in the lamb part of my mistake slain from the foundation of the world so you see you are not going to heaven if you worship the beast and he had power to give life let's skip down to verse 6 Oh, I want to point that out. Uh, if you don't worship, look at the bottom that that as many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. OK. And I saw both small and great, both rich and poor. And he made both small and great to receive the mark. Uh, you can't buy or sell if you don't have this mark. And the number is six hundred three score and six. That is six, six, six. Okay, symbology is used for communication. As you see, that's hospital, that's for cash, that is a mailbox or some of that, or a post office and things of that nature. So you see common signs. Sign language and Braille are two common examples of this. So you see the sign language diagrams. Here's the Braille alphabet. So 666, the mark of the beast. This is not a sign for okay. I know a lot of y'all might have thought that, but this is actually for six, six, and six, okay? Here are some uh, people that you recognize doing it. Bill Clinton, six, six, six. This is John Cena. Here is his mascot. This is to let the crowd know he's about to do his finishing move, and as you see, it's clearly a six, six, six. Here is a Pope doing it. You see Beyonce, and you hear the beast is a punt as a leopard. And you see here the youth indoctrination, Maggie and the Ferocious Beast. Very demonic. It's just like the devil trying to make you think bad is not bad. Another one, Monster Energy Drink with the 666. As you see here, this is the Hebrew 6. And you're unleashing the beast. And you see here 666. Another one, this I think is a, a actor. Her name is Emma Roberts. Wearing the 666 shirt. You see here again. By the way, this character right here. Triple H calls himself King of Kings. Jesus is the King of Kings. Not a man. You got him doing the 666 John Cena again. You have here. His name is called The Undertaker. And he buries people in coffins. And puts them in the ground. When he uh, fights in the wrestling match. Very demonic. This movie says 666. And as you see. Google Chrome's uh, symbol is a derivative of 666. Another sign is the six-pointed star. This is a derivative of 666. I see six points, 
six sides, six triangles, six, six, six. And on the Ameri the back of the American dollar, if you look here, the six pointed star here, okay? Also on the back of the dollar, you see it here, M-D-C-C-L-X-X-V-I, M-D-C, which is the first three letters, it's a thousand five hundred and a hundred comes comes to uh six hundred. That's supposed to be a hundred. Well, I don't know, but anyway, it adds up to be six hundred. Uh, C L X C L X sixty X V I X V I six. And you add them up, they equal 660, 60, 6, 6, 6. Also notice when you do the six-pointed star, it makes masons. Yes, I know you all think that the, that the mason or freemason group worship God. The top people, this is the key thing that you have to understand. understand. The top people worship the devil. So no everybody in government doesn't worship the devil. Everybody that's making a dollar doesn't worship the devil. It's the top people. The, the Bible says spiritual wickedness in high places. The devil needs people that are in high places that have influence. So again, I'm not saying if you're in the Masonic lodges and that type of thing, Prince Hall, Eastern Stars, that you worship the devil. I'm saying your top leaders, okay? Your top leaders are worshiping the devil. Okay, I'll do another video on that. Also, the swastika is coming from the six point star. The all seeing eye with the, uh, this is the sun of the morning representation of Lucifer. Okay, this is an artist with a song called The All Seeing Eye. And you have here Justin Bieber with the all seeing eye on his arm. That's why they cover their eyes like this. That's why the 666 is over their eyes for the all seeing eye. This is Jay-Z and Beyonce. Notice she didn't start doing things like this until she got with him, okay? This is Lil Wayne with the eye there. This is Sarah Palin, by the way. It may be kind of small. This is Anton LaVey. He's the founder of the Church of Satan. He wrote the book of Satan. By the way, on his deathbed, he was crying for forgiveness of sins to Jesus. So my young people, if you're watching this, don't be fooled by selling your soul to the devil. Take it from a Satanist. He founded the church of Satan. He was crying for forgiveness of sins to Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light. He'll give you everything that you need. Uh, but anyway, you see him with the triangle over the eye. So you see this is purely demonic, okay? Demonically influenced. And you see Jay-Z doing it. Think that is Miley Cyrus. Uh, Beyonce again, that's Rihanna, Jay-Z, Kanye West. You see here Al Sharpton doing it with Christina um, Aguilera. Uh, this, sorry player, that's why he lost. Uh, go Golden State. <laughs> this is a sorority, that's a little Wayne by the way. Sorority doing it, so you see the youth indoctrination. They are preparing you in the fraternities and sororities. Okay, to be in this type of thing. All right, five pointed star or pentagram. You see, the star is for Wicca, witchcraft, and we all know that is demonic. God tells us not to participate in medians and that type of thing, calling up the dead, witchcraft, and the like, neo paganism. You know, pagans are idol worshiping, polytheism, worshiping multiple gods, and that type of thing, like Greek. Uh, mythology and such and you see the pentagon or pentagram being in here okay you see that and that is where the pentagon gets its shape from an upside down star that's how they get that shape that's why it's shaped that way also the army medal of valor is in the same demonic upside down circle okay this is the satanic bible by anton levey look young people yolo youth obeying lucifer's orders swag satan's wishes are granted 
Notice it's above the demonic, uh, satanic enclosed pentagram or the upside down star. Rolling on the floor laughing, no. Rise, our father Lucifer. Be right back. Definitely not. Bells above rules below. Bells above is another name for Bell, which is another name for the devil. WTF, hope nobody saves saying that. But worship the fallen. Who's fallen? Lucifer, we already showed. It says, how are thou fallen in Isaiah? Uh, LOL, you laughing out loud? No, the devil's laughing because you're calling him Lucifer, our Lord. Henry Kissinger is one of the top players in the Illuminati. No, Beyonce, Kanye West, and the light, they are not in the Illuminati. I don't even think black people can be in the Illuminati. These are rich white men predominantly. And it's women, white women, I think, too. From my research, no black people can be in it. Listen at what he says. It's not a matter of what is true that counts, but a matter of what is perceived to be true. Eve got deceived because she thought she knew what the word says. As you see here, that is a representation of this, the ball men. Okay? You see the five-pointed star here? This is the gold of Mendes. It tracks all the way back to the Egyptian culture. So you see the horns uh, thing pointing up. You see the light in the darkness, a uh, yin in the yang, or also you see the white and black checkerboard in Masonic beliefs and such. This is representing light and darkness dwelling together. And the Bible says light and darkness does not mix. You can't take up the table of, the, of God and the table of devils. Choose you this day whom you will serve. Okay, you see right here, this is representing a penis with snakes around it and serpents. You know that represents the devil. And you see the breasts. So you see female and male. So you see this is uh this is perversion. The devil does not create anything, he just twists what God makes. And you see Floyd Mayweather here with 50 cent, he's throwing up the 666. And Floyd Mayweather throwing up the uh, Baphomet sign. No, this doesn't mean rock star, nor does it mean uh, Texas Longhorns. Right here, this is George W. Bush. That's Jay-Z throwing it up. This is Obama throwing it up. One, two, three, four pictures of him throwing it up. I think that is possibly John Kerry, some politician throwing it up. This is Bill Clinton throwing it up. This is a statue in Oklahoma, as you see the upside down star right here. And you see the gold of Mendez pointing up and down as above, so below, right? You know, heaven and hell does not mix. Definitely don't. But you see the little kids, youth indoctrination, and also continuing in youth indoctrination in fraternities and sororities, okay? You see, I think her name is Cher with all the background singers throwing it up. This is, I'm not sure who it is, but he's throwing it up nonetheless. At that, sh I just want to show you that to show you it's international. You see it in companies, McDonald's. They're throwing it up, which is a supporter of Olympics, which comes from what Greek. Okay, I may do a video on that later. This is Michelle Obama throwing it up. Notice that isn't a regular. If I just hold my hand out, it goes like that. It wouldn't go like this. I would have to hold my fingers for my hand to be like that. So that hand sign is deliberate. Okay. She would, her hand would be something like this if it was a natural hand gesture. But that is deliberate in this for a magazine. So they tell you how to hold yourself. This is Beyonce again. I'm telling y'all, she is not an Illuminati. They use her as a pawn that she has sold her soul for mammon. The Bible says you got to serve God or mammon. Mammon is rich in fame and fortune. Okay, so these people accept fame and fortune to sell us out, to get us to look glamorous, to get us to act crazy and think that possession of demons. She said she opened her head, she put her head up and that's the first time she felt something inside of her. She's talking about Sasha Fierce, the, the demonic demon that is inside of her. Nicki Minaj is another one. We're working on a video now coming out that you'll see that, okay? Egyptian worship is another way that you can tell uh, the Illuminati is giving out signs and communicating. This is T.I.'s um, son's 13th birthday, if you can see 13th there. This is his cake. This is Chris Brown celebrating his birthday with an Egyptian cake. You see the pyramid on the helmet there. This is Lil Wayne's daughter's 16th birthday. And as you see, the uh, Egyptian 
type thing and she's coming in supposed to be like a princess or a queen or something here's some uh, common Egyptian god Horus is a big one that I've seen a lot in different things uh, Ra is the sun god so you'll see this this type of pyramid and notice this is what Pharaoh's wore um, a mom, I've heard of him before. I haven't really seen too much of him. Anubis, Anubis is another one. Osiris, the, another name for Osiris is uh, the Antichrist. This is what they rose. Notice this is what pharaohs did. They rose this spirit up in every pharaoh to rule through him. Okay. Um, I, I've heard from research every world, major world leader. They have a ceremony to arise. Osiris. In the world leader also the Statue of Liberty is a is a, a a combination of Osiris and Isis together okay as you see that's Baphomet it's demonic and Isis okay this is not terrorist this is something that American government has concocted up Google it if you don't believe me the American government gives them the arms they train them they are doing this, okay? Don't believe the propaganda. Don't believe the devil's deceptions. You know, we're not ignorant of his devices. Unless he gets the advantage on us. And as you see, Chris Brown with the Eye of Ra here. That's what it is. At the BET Awards in 2005. The Pyramid with the capstone representing Lucifer at the top. You see here Kanye West with Horace. Let's go back. You see that with the beat. That is what he's representing right here. Horus and the two pyramids. Okay, so you see him. And Anubis is who is Lady Gaga portraying right there. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was just kind of funny. You see people have a sense of humor. They kind of go a little extreme with it. You know, I'm pretty sure that's not deliberate. But anyway, I mean, who cares really? Next. What does the Bible say? I'm the Lord your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I am the Lord your God. See, in Egypt, they began to start to take beliefs of the Egyptian. You know, the Pharaoh was worshipped as a God. No, God is who we're supposed to serve. God is who we're supposed to worship. Okay. There shall no strange God be in thee. Neither shall thou worship any strange God. As you worship idols... The idols become in you and dwell in you like the Holy Ghost comes and dwells in you. So when you worship idol gods, you worship this Egyptian stuff and you throw up the Baphomet and you're wearing all these different signs and stuff. You are inviting these spirits. You're getting tattoos and such. You're inviting spirits inside of you. You see, in thee, I am the Lord thy God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide and I will fill it. God will fill us with anything that we need. All we have to do is let him in. Here's another common symbol that they use, Molech or Moloch, okay? This is a Canaanite god. The uh, descendants of Lot worship this god, okay? As you see, it's a bull here. A bull and an owl is symbolic of it. Here you see Justin Bieber showing a tattoo of the owl. This is Drake, which is a defector from... Uh, Disney. I'll do an extensive video on that later. And as you see, this is his line, take care with the owl symbology. And you see it's from Egyptian hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics. So it's showing you where it's from. And even on your dollar, on the front face of the dollar, on the top right here, look here, that is an owl. Okay? And here, Bohemian Grove. Uh... I want to read this bottom. Bohemian Grove Elite Set. Play like the big boys secretly in the woods and act out your own cremation of care. Satanic ritual and sodomy sleep over. Choose your favorite globalist to emulate as you chant praise to Mola. Mola. Bow your friends. Blow your friends away with your own Blood red hooded PJs when you bend over for Buddy Boinkins bedtime stories. Fun for all ages. Notice you're having a sodomy sleepover and you're bending over for Buddy Boinkins. Okay, notice they giving you lighter fluid and matches to actually burn it. Okay, this is Molek. This is real. Okay, 
Look up Bohemian Grove. This is for Bohemian Club. Okay? This is supposed to be an Obama action figure. This is George W. Bush. This is Clinton. This is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay? They burn babies and little kids in here. Uh, also, you can look up a picture of Washington, D.C. An overview, you'll see that an owl of Molech formed in the uh, woods. We'll get to it depending on what time it is at the end of the video. What does the word say? Leviticus 18, 21. And thou shalt not let any of thy seed pass through the fire to Molech, neither shall I profane the name of the Lord thy God. I am the Lord thy God. Jeremiah 32, 35. And they built the high places of Baal, which is the devil, which are in the valley of the sons of Hishon, Hinnom. Or whatever that is, to cause their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire unto Molech again, which I commanded them not, neither came it into my mind that they should do this abomination to cause Judah to sin. So it's an abomination, okay? Here's Exodus. But ye shall destroy their altars, break their images, cut down their groves. Oh, I've shown you groves. See, Bohemian Grove, okay? I'm showing you the groves. Break their image and cut down their groves. For thou shalt worship no other God. For the Lord, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous God. Okay, God wants us to worship him and him only. Whilst, uh, Jeremiah 17 and 2, whilst their children remember their altars and their groves by the green trees upon the high hills. That's where you get the fraternities and sororities. They circle, that's why their, their symbology and stuff is in the forest or in nature. Because they are celebrating groves. It is idol worship. They are desensitizing you people to idol worship, okay? So your Eastern stars and all that, when you get into Freemasonry and these other secret organizations, it won't be strange to you because you'll be used to it, okay? So in closing, I want to tell you all to uh, that to be, to be vigilant. You know, the Bible says the devil... Our adversaries as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour and you have to understand these symbols remember symbology is how they communicate so in closing I want to let you know that this is not a conspiracy theory it is not something that somebody just made up this is a real thing that is happening okay I'll do more videos on different things again remember it is the top Top, top people at the top, okay? This isn't people at the bottom. You people at the bottom, like me and you, unless you do research, you will not know. This is people at the top levels that are influencing world uh, situations and circumstances, financial markets, fashion, movies. The top people in it are influencing these things, okay? Uh, God bless you and know that more videos are to come. Thank you for your time and have a great day.